Karlsruhe is a lovely town located in the southwest of Germany, very close to the Rhine River and the border with France. It's a typical German town with impressive historical and timber architecture, many cute pastry shops, a large technology sector and innovative media arts. However, it's also a livable and relaxed town with a southern or even Mediterranean feel. Karlsruhe is a pretty young city by European standards and we actually know the exact date it was founded, June 17th, 1715th. Before that time, the center of the area was in the town of Durlach, which is today one of the neighborhoods in Karlsruhe. I walked around the city with a local guide named Robert, who told me a bit about some of the Karlsruhe highlights and its history. So this is the Karlsruhe Palace, and this was built by Karl Wilhelm, the founder of Karlsruhe. And Karlsruhe means Karl's resting place where he could relax. Originally, the capital of this area was a place called Baden, but he founded Karlsruhe as a way of escaping uh, the politics of, of the capital city. And uh, he founded this city in 1715. And this tower, he laid a stone to this tower behind us uh, as a way of founding the city. And how he convinced people to come to Karlsruhe was he founded an organization with basically nine lords or nobles that came with him who moved here. And he also offered uh, local regular people such as butchers, um, tailors, carpenters and so on, free land, free building materials and also a tax-free life for a few years if they were willing to move to his new city. The best way to start your visit to Karlsruhe is by exploring the Karlsruhe Palace and its surroundings first. It's centrally located, making it a great starting point for exploring the city. At the same time, visiting the museum inside will give you a lovely overview of the Karlsruhe's history. At the Baden State Museum, you'll see the city model, archaeological findings from the region, and many more interesting artifacts. The museum is also home to some fantastic Egyptian and Greek art collections that are a must-see for any archaeology enthusiast visiting Karlsruhe. Some other exhibits, like the ones of the medieval, renaissance or early modern art, are also worth visiting. The Karlsruhe Palace is surrounded by beautiful parks and gardens. The smaller one in front of it is home to numerous pretty statues. Walking around it is almost like taking an art history lesson. However, the larger park behind the palace is the West Tranquil Oasis in the middle of the city. While walking through it, I followed the path of blue ceramic tiles from the palace to the place I visited next. The Majolica Porcelain Museum is located on the site of an original Majolica Porcelain Manufactory. It's home to a museum where you can learn more about the Majolica arts and crafts production taking place here since 1901. Situated close by, the Karlsruhe Botanical Garden was founded in the 18th century and soon became home to numerous exotic trees, flowers and plants. Although it doesn't host the variety of species it used to have, this botanical garden is still a wonderful place to walk, relax on one of the benches and enjoy the view of fountains and some lovely historic architecture. Karlsruhe has a long tradition of cherishing democracy, human rights and freedom. The city is home to the Federal Constitutional Court of Germany, located in this building since 1969. Karlsruhe's main square is a vibrant city square that's a meeting place and the location of the weekly farmer's market. The large building made of red stone is the town hall. Opposite it is the Karlsruhe Protestant Church. This is a great place to take a break and enjoy a cup of coffee and a slice of the local Schwarzwald cake. Karlsruhe Museum of Natural History is a fascinating museum to visit for anyone who would like to learn more about our planet and the world around us. Its exhibition starts with a section dedicated to the minerals and the gallery about the dinosaurs and the first animals living on Earth. 
It also has a vast collection of the local and exotic animal world on its upper floor. However, what makes this museum so unique is that it's also home to some live animals. Incredibly fascinating are the ones in the aquariums, like the live corals, fish and reef sharks. Another cultural spot in Karlsruhe that shouldn't be missed is the Center for Art and Media. Karlsruhe is proclaimed to be the UNESCO Creative City of Media Arts, and you can learn more about that side of the city at this place. It's a cultural venue where exhibitions, performances and other exciting events are organized. I especially enjoy the Biomedia exhibition with artworks and installations inspired by the biological world. Probably my favorite area in Karlsruhe was its oldest neighborhood, Durlach. One of its highlights is its old funicular. Opened in 1888, it's the oldest funicular in Germany that takes passengers to the top of Turmberg Hill. The ride takes only around three minutes, but from the top you'll have a beautiful view of Karlsruhe and its surroundings. Besides that, the best way to explore the Durlach neighborhood is by just strolling around its old center, exploring the details on the streets, old timber houses, and stumbling on some of its historical sites. Carlsburg Castle, built during the 16th century, is located in its center and is home to a small but interesting museum dedicated to the history of that area. However, I especially like the small square in front of the town hall with a lovely fountain decorated with different kinds of animals. Karlsruhe is a lovely, vibrant city with a great combination of German coziness and culture, innovative media arts and a relaxed lifestyle. It's a great European destination for all cultural tourists. <laughs> 